What's up guys? So we have Mr. Robert Oberston Town visiting and I figured since we are in the Rocky Mountains we would take Mr. Robert Oberst to enjoy some Rocky Mountain oysters. Are you familiar with what a Rocky Mountain oyster is? I, I know what they are. I've never had them before, but okay. I do know what they are. Okay. Um, I can't say I'm not nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So from anybody out there that's not familiar with a Rocky Mountain oyster, they happen to grow uh, by the side of a mountain stream and in this general vicinity on a bull. Google it. Google, Google it. Yeah. That's the best way, the best way to say it. Just Google it. You'll figure it out. And um, as this bull is uh, eloquently pointing out, he feels it's unfair. I feel like that's very fitting. Peaceful protest. Yeah, and as, as you can see, we're at Bruce's Bar here in Colorado. So we are going to go in and uh, enjoy some Rocky Mountain oysters and maybe some other tasty treats. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we sat down and what we've got here is a sampler. So we get to test out what we're going to be eating. So this is beef, this is lamb, and this is buffalo. So here, turn your head and cough for me. So <laughs> I don't want to put this back so now. I'll hold this one till we're ready. Okay, good job. You're not gonna... I want to taste it. Yeah, you got to. Mm, kind of reminds me of Boy Scout camp. Does it? Everybody's experience is different. Wasn't that your favorite at Boy Scout camp? Was that going back every year? Scout's honor. Hope he still goes back. He does. Literally. I think there's lamb in the middle. There's a lot of flavor to the lamb. Yeah, is that the lamb? Yeah, lamb's really good. Yeah. Nice catch. Nope. I'm out on the lamb. I don't, I'm the Ooh, the lamb. second one wasn't so good. All right, guys. So after the sampling, I gotta say I have the lamb as by far the worst. That, I would rate that. And five. also, they have the least power, so they should be lowest. Yeah. Right. The biggest power is on the sides here. Right. So I feel like the more testosterone, the more flavor. But this is this is the thing. You right. gotta go with it. The big power. So I think for our challenge. We should just go straight Rocky Mountain Oyster beef. I'm done with beef. I, I, I honestly thought the lamb tasted better than the bison, but I think I just had too high hopes for what the undercarriage of a bison would taste like. And I've been thinking about it for too long, and that kind of built it up, and that's, that was, it was my failure. It was overhyped. Right. So, challenge is one and a half pounds of Rocky Mountain Oysters down the hatch as fast as we can. What do you think the goal time is? I have no idea. What's the winner go? What do you want? What is the loser? What do I want? Because you know I'm going to win. <laughs> no. I've done eating challenges with you before, <laughs> and somehow they miraculously fly. No, I, I have. I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll be honest. I have cheated before, but I always do it in an obvious way. You guys got so mad. We did a steak challenge that I just smoked you on. I, I did it legitimately, and you guys still got bad. So I think I think this will be the, the ultimate. Like, it'll prove whether it was like a fluke. Or okay. Not. Yeah. Yeah. So well, if you lose this. I get to go and pick any two trophies out of your trophy case for myself. <laughs> like, oh, I'll, I'll be showing my grandchildren Brian Shaw's trophy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Guess how your daddy got these ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here's the rules. I'm going to put five minutes on the clock. Okay. Eat as, as many as you can in five minutes and if we finish, then I'll stop for the winner. Got it? No cheating, Oberst? No cheating. No throwing them over your shoulder, hiding them in your beard, or anything like that. Those are all considered cheating? They are. <laughs> yes, indeed. Communist. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Set, go. I think I'll take 2010. Chauvin. William. And then... Your last Arnold. I'm gonna okay. break it in half. I'm gonna put it in two different spots. Why? Why is that? Because I hurt the feelings. <laughs> 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 
tastes better than any other balls I have in my mouth. I don't even think I can fit that many in my mouth. That's why all the guys like me. <laughs> Which one would you say means the most to you? Which trophy? Asking for a friend. Or a friend. No. Can't feel an iPhone now. No. Was I supposed to guess what you just said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mouth is so full right now of Austin. Bro, I can sit here and watch you eat for 10 seconds and still smoke you. Done. Done, bro. I think it's pretty obvious. What trophy would be here? Yeah, which one means the most to you? I would say my my first trophy for my first amateur competition in 2005. Yeah. <laughs> you have that trophy. I do. It's, you, yeah, do. you can have that one. I don't. Uh, I want one of them big gold ones with the globe. <laughs> do you? <laughs> do you? Yeah. One I mean, coming up that you can win one of those here soon. Yeah, there was one we just had right now. <laughs> So we're gonna get a look in the back of the kitchen to see how they are before they chop them up and everything. So just to get the actual look and feel of what we just ate. This ought to be interesting. That's basically what they look like before we slice them. Is that big? Oh wow. crap. Yeah. Do you ever let anybody go out and pick which bull they get? No. <laughs> no? These, these come from the Midwest. Mm. Actually, believe it or not, these all came from Costa Rica. Oh really? Yeah. So I thought I tasted that spice. Bigger than that. I know, I told you that was for size correlation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I would have shown you real size, you would have been like, what is that? And if no, I go I, like that, I, then you know. I was trying to explain to you, bro. You're trying to turn my joke back on me. Yeah, I was. And you're not You're not trying to <laughs> let it happen. But I, could, I could. I mean, we I could know. do it. That's one. That is crazy. Since you lost, if you want to keep your trophy, you put that thing in your mouth for 30 seconds, I'll keep. let you keep your trophy. I, how are these these weird challenges coming up? I'm trying to give you a chance to win back your world's strongest man. I, I just I don't even understand what's popping in your head right now. Champions like, go for the victory no matter what. So you can right. give up the trophy or put this in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think I've had my fill, and I'm glad that we gave you the full Rocky Mountain experience. You you excelled at it, which I'm not shocked by. Champ. Champ, champ, champ. got to win, bro. You know All right. What I mean? All right. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll glad you gladly give you this one. I'll let you win at that. You're better at eating balls than me. It's amazing. You, you're the one who laid out the challenge too, though. You're the one. Who I did. Basically, I did. you were like, I could eat balls better than you, and now you're like, oh, I guess I can. All my years of practice. I should have gone a little bit harder <laughs> in, the, in the challenge. Yeah. Well, yeah. you'll learn. I'm going to be taking selfies with your trophies for the next six months. Okay. I'm going to sleep with it. Is this like a, uh, a, a rent to own kind of thing? Um, like like you, could, uh, you could look at like what you don't have and then... I don't know how you could say I don't have it if I take it home with me. <laughs> like, if, if everyone talks about winning a World's Strongest Man trophy. I just won one. My Champs should feel good, man. Champs feel good. <laughs> Kobe. Champ. Champ. <laughs> All right. All right, well, let's go. I'll, I'll go back and show you some trophies you can choose from. There's a lot of them. Can I order some more of this first? Yeah, you want to take it to go? Sure. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> 